I want to go stand on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the exciting part now. Uh, put a lid on it and cook it. I'm not even allowed to say the words that are in the title of it. It's kind of gruesome. Maybe try to catch some bass. We'll see. We uh, had you go. Hey guys, welcome. My name is Larry and this is Mason. And we're actually out on the scooter just riding around in Winslow, Arizona. We're camping here tonight. And if the name of Winslow, Arizona sounds familiar, um, if you don't already know, it's, it's, um, it's made popular by a song, an Eagles song called Take It Easy. And in the song they say, standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. So uh, this is one of the, the little minor things on my bucket list that uh, I wanna go stand on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> and so here we are. We're actually on our way right now to go check out the corner. I hope it's not busy. I've never been here. I don't know if there's gonna be a line. I don't know what to expect, but uh, let's go check it out. Here we are standing on the corner. <laughs> it's a cool little place to even have the song playing in the background. It's kind of cool. So I'm here at the La Posada Hotel. It's like a hotel right next to the train tracks. I guess you can catch the Amtrak train from here or whatever. Um, I was told by the that this is like kind of the place in town to check out. Um, it's one of a kind. I guess they have like cool artwork and things like that inside. So I'm going to see if they'll let me in with Mason. I don't know, but we'll, uh, I'm going to cross my fingers. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so they said I'd come in. They said there's like a museum and an art gallery. There's a bar right there. That must be a restaurant. I don't even know where to go first. I guess this is the gift shop. Check that painting out. So I guess this lady is an artist, like world-renowned artist, and I guess she is one of the owners of this place and uses it as her own gallery. Wow. I've noticed everyone has something to do with cards. There's a spade. Okay, well that one doesn't. That's the Wizard of Oz. So the artwork here is definitely different. I've never seen anything like this before. It's almost like on the verge of being creepy. This one's by far the creepiest. Hmm. And there's a chair here. I guess you can sit and ponder what's going on. Kind of looks like a kid. That's a pinata. And all sorts of stuff falling out. And her arms on the ground. 
little weird. A little weird. <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comments. Would you buy that and hang that up in your house? <laughs> I guess this is for games. For because it's a hotel. I mean, operating a hotel, so I guess people can come and play board games or chess or read the National Geographic magazine. What? what? <laughs> The National Geographic magazines. <laughs> wow. Nice little fireplace right here. Nice little area to sit. Got some blocks to play with. <laughs> cool radio. Definitely odd paintings. So this painting behind me, uh, I'm not even allowed to say the words that are in the title of it um, on YouTube, but you can maybe figure it out on your own. Um, it's kind of gruesome. Hmm. Well, that was a cool place. Uh, I mean, it, it was odd. The, well, the artwork was odd, but um, but it was good. Better Better than I could paint. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel was very nice. Uh, the staff was very nice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's, it's starting to get dark and it's cooling down and I don't even have a jacket. So uh, I'm going to head back to the camper. I've got a couple miles to go. It's a quaint little town. Um, this is like small town Main Street, I guess. I don't think it's called Main Street, but um, yeah, a lot of little gift shops and restaurants. I was recommended a couple of them. But uh, I don't know, I just don't think I have time to really stop and check any of them out. Plus on top of that, I have a pretty special dinner plan. So they have this cool little, um, I don't know if you call it a park or what, but it's kind of like a uh, long stretch of ground that has a trail on it. It's kind of next to the railroad tracks, which is cool because it kind of leads right back to where we're staying tonight. We're staying at the... Uh, um, parking lot. I guess they allow overnight stays there, so that's where we're at. That's where they're staying, right there in that parking lot. It looks like we got a couple neighbors tonight. So I was wrong, actually. It's the visitor center for Winslow, um, and they allow you to park out here in this parking lot. And then normally there's a big gravel parking lot that you can park in back there, but I guess they're doing something, surveying it or something. So right now it's temporarily closed, but you're allowed to park in the actual parking lot, which is very nice of them to do. Bob, you look pretty comfy over there. You're all hidden in those blankies, huh? Yeah. You hungry? Ready to eat? No? Okay, uh, so the meat has to warm up a little bit i just got it out of the fridge i guess i need to let it warm up for about a half an hour so we'll leave that there and i think i'm gonna go outside make a little fire made that jacket yeah the bathroom's nasty looking it needs to be remodeled that was actually going to be Tonight's video was the bathroom remodel, but, uh, yeah, I decided instead of doing that, we would go to Winslow, Arizona. Okay. Well, there's one beer down. 
I'm actually surprised this lantern didn't catch on fire. Sheesh. Ooh, there we go. Probably gonna need a new one of these. That one's completely empty. <laughs> Tell you what guys, it has been one of those days today. I honestly don't even know how that's not broken. Every time I've ever seen one hit the ground on a movie, they just burst into flames. Uh, that's one reason why I, I mentioned in one of my other videos that I only usually fill it up like halfway or, or a little less than halfway because um, that exact reason. Like I, I, I wouldn't want that thing completely full and then it burst into flames if I dropped it, but I guess it's not like that. That's the first time I ever dropped it. So having these trains drive by all night is actually kind of cool. I've always been into like trains when I was a kid. My dad and I would do a lot of like model railroading and uh, had a huge train set in our basement. It was 14 foot by 10 foot, just massive train set. And I just feel like the luckiest kid ever that I had that in the basement and, and parents cool enough to to buy all that and, and spend time with me while I'm, you know, <laughs> playing with model trains. But yeah, it was cool. It was like HO scale if anybody's into model trains, but um, yeah, if I have a picture, I'll put it here. And if I don't, then I won't. But uh, I know I have a picture somewhere. It's just a matter of finding it. So you might be wondering why Mason hasn't been outside with me the last couple of videos, but it's because it's it's too cold. He does not like the cold. If, if it's cold, he'll just run outside. Like if he's got to go potty or something, he'll just make it quick and he wants to go back in. Uh, he's definitely a warm weather dog. Um, he seems happy in here, cozied up in that those blankets. Uh, anyways, I think it's been long enough. Uh, I'm going to get this meat browned up and get some dinner started because it's going to be a while. I think I have to let it simmer for quite some time. So it would probably be like 9 o'clock tonight before I actually eat. But that's okay, as long as I'm heading in that direction, I guess. <laughs> We're going to brown up this grass-fed, grass-finished beef stew meat. I had a friend gracious enough to give me some meat from a cow that they bought. So I'm pretty excited to try that. Uh, I gotta get it browned up first. Let's get this thing heated up. I'm actually, yeah, let me get it, there it is. I'm actually gonna cook it inside just because I can't actually make a real fire. And I don't want to waste all my propane on the outside fire because this is supposed to take like an hour and a half to cook. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get this opened up. Start cooking. Go ahead and put a little salt and pepper on it. So I'm just trying to flip everything, get all sides, kind of a nice glazed golden brown, whatever. It's kind of taking forever, but hopefully it'll be worth it in the long run. Um, I'm actually making a beef stew tonight. I don't, I guess I haven't really told you guys what I was making, but yeah, beef stew. So I'm not gonna lie, I actually haven't made this recipe before. I just kind of hurried up and searched one up because I wanted to make beef stew and uh, I don't think I read the whole thing all the way through. I don't realize, or I didn't realize how complex this recipe is. Um, I'm not a master chef. I'm just gonna make it the best I can. I don't even have all the ingredients, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> let me get you turned over here. For whatever reason, I'm supposed to put tomato paste in here and then coat all the meat with it without splattering it out and then cook that for a few seconds. Less than a minute apparently. Uh, hey, so I got some mail and I love stickers so it works out really nice. I ended up getting these Overland Citrus stickers in. Uh, I know you're a subscriber and I, <laughs> I don't think you've actually ever told me your name. There's no note or anything in here. I know I've seen Overland Citrus in the comments, but uh, yeah, um, 
comment on this video and introduce yourself uh, or send me a message or something. But I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And again, you guys, if you got anything you want to send, uh, there's a P.O. box down below in the description. Along with affiliate links of all the products I use and all sorts of things down there. Swanson beef broth. Rich flavor since 1945. Just kidding. Yeah, I think it's the exciting part now. Uh, put a lid on it and cook it for an hour and a half. And sit here and suffer and smell it. Because I'm starving. <laughs> Probably should have started this at like 3 o'clock. Whatever. Anyways, I'm going to get a lid on this. Get it simmering. I'll see you guys in a few. So that has been boiling now for about 15 minutes uh, so i have like another hour and 15 minutes to go uh i've been cutting up stuff so i got my green beans cut i have a bunch of potatoes these like baby dutch yellow potatoes almost, almost the whole bag i have almost the whole onion some celery down there i have carrots that are going to go in i guess the whole point of just cooking it this long is to get that meat really tender i guess is the idea and then you put the vegetables in towards the end here so they're not so soft i guess i might have cooked way or i might have cut way too many vegetables but whatever throwing them all in uh so the recipe calls for the vegetables cooking in there for 45 minutes to an hour i think it is uh, i'm not gonna wait that long i'm gonna turn it up a little bit and tops 30 minutes and then i'm eating it even if it's crunchy i don't care i'm just starving at this point uh mason already ate i gave him a little bit of the meat earlier and he loved it i haven't even tried it yet i actually gave it about another 45 minutes let's see oh yeah whoo this smells good can you smell it <laughs> just kidding i'll let you know how good it tastes <laughs> i feel like i can eat this whole pot right now i am so hungry i'm gonna whisper because there's people sleeping it's like 10 o'clock now <laughs> finally being able to eat but uh there's people in rvs right next to me sleeping but uh it's cold outside it's probably i would say upper 40s lower 50s right now I think it's supposed to be down to 38 tonight, or I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's going to be cold for me. and uh, But this is nice and hot, and the fire feels good. So I'm going to sit out here and eat this. And I'm going to move this because I hate hearing people eat. So you guys don't have to hear me eat. It tastes amazing, by the way, and uh, don't follow my recipe because I forgot quite a few ingredients, and uh, I even forgot garlic. I even brought garlic, but I forgot it somehow, so I put some garlic powder on it. It's just not the same, but it, I mean, it tastes really good. Kind of wish I would have been able to put fresh garlic in, but I'm not complaining right now at the second. It tastes very good. Buddy, you want to go potty? <laughs> you gonna go party? You gonna go outside? Yeah, let's go outside. All right, come on, let's go party. <laughs> you probably can't see it. There's kind of a stage right there, and then they have. Wait, there it is. So they have a stage over there. And then they have little grassy areas and benches. And I guess they have concerts out here. It's a cool little spot. Right here next to the visitor center. Buddy, you go potty already? Got a train coming. So it's supposed to actually, I thought it was only going to get down to like 36 to 38, somewhere in there. But apparently it's getting down to 29 tonight. 
and uh this is what i'm gonna have for a heater tonight i guess because this heater the diesel heater won't start it just chug smoke and there's people out there you know next to me camping and i don't want the fire department called <laughs> because it's so bad i need to catch it on tape sometime but um yeah anyways i'm gonna use this as much as i can and then late late tonight i'll use this heater obviously i'm not gonna leave it on the couch i'm gonna switch spots i'll put it up there and i'll run it off the power station as long as I can. If I have it on low, I, I think I can get a couple hours out of that. <sighs> That's the plan. I think I'm going to go to bed, but uh, I want to get up somewhat early because I want to go fishing tomorrow. I had a few of you guys asking about the fishing, and I do like fishing. I just kind of suck at fishing, but uh, I'm sure going to give it a shot. I know there's a really cool place not too far from here, and we're going to go try it out in the morning. At least that's the plan. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Anyways, good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Slept pretty good, even though it kind of froze, but this, this sleeping bag kept us pretty warm. Mason doesn't want to get out of bed, but slept pretty good. So a food truck pulled up this morning out here in the parking lot, and I saw a sign that said coffee. <laughs> I think I'm going to go over and check it out. Okay, it says Winslow, Arizona Coffee Roasting Company on the cup. Uh, I've assumed that's the name of the business. She didn't really have it on her trailer. But um, let's try it out. I haven't tried it yet. But uh, it's very good. Better than the coffee I could have made this morning. Mm. What do you know, buddy? You about, you about ready for breakfast? I slept with this sleeping bag last night. Um, it was over. I had it over me and him all night. And the heater, like I said, didn't work. I'm glad I brought this. But, you know, it was kind of a blessing in disguise because I normally always sleep with lighter blankets and then just have a heater on all night that's what I usually do but as you guys know you know my heater the diesel heater in this thing is a royal pile of junk so it just um, when it does turn on it just runs 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 until it's like 90 degrees in here and then uh, and I have to shut it off and then I wake up freezing and sweating and all night long it's just up and down temperature and I know it can't be healthy for me uh, or him so this is probably the first time I slept in here with just a heavy sleeping bag and no heat even though it got down to 29 degrees Fahrenheit last night and uh, I slept better this way than with the heat which is odd I, I, I never would have expected that I think he slept good too he didn't want to get out of bed this morning I had to like <laughs> I had to pull him out from under the blankets just to go and take him to go potty this morning Huh. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah. You hungry? So I ended up getting a beef stew out for uh, Mason's food. I, I put like a little chunk of beef in there, cut it up, and put it in his food. He's still not eating it, but I just don't think he likes eating really early in the morning. Which is okay. Um, me, however, I do like to eat in the morning. So I think I'm going to just have some beef stew for breakfast. Uh, I wanted to make eggs, but... I already have those dishes and a cast iron I got to clean still and I don't want to make another dish. So I'm just going to microwave this up and have that. Plus the sun's out so I got plenty of power to, you know, power to microwave for a couple minutes. You wanna go fishing this morning, buddy? No? <laughs> I've been so busy, especially lately I've been working um, my other job this last week and then I uh, have to shoot this video right now. This is Saturday, Sunday, and then it'll be posted by Tuesday. <laughs> but uh, 
because of this time schedule, like I, I miss church. So I've been trying to just do it online as much as I can when I'm doing these videos. But uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to just do the videos full time and not have to really worry about my other job. And I can have a totally different schedule as my plan. But I think it's getting here. Thanks to you guys. You guys are amazing uh subscribers by the way like the the stats on my channel are just mind-blowing how amazing it's doing here lately um it's just a dream come true i've worked so hard for two years and now all of a sudden it's just you guys wow um and all the positive comments you know i mean i, I do get the occasional uh judgmental person but you know what that's fine everybody has their own opinions and and you can have them just like i have mine i'm just so grateful for all you guys and uh uh, it's just, it's just like a dream come true. I'm I still am in shock. My whole family's tired of me talking about <laughs> you guys and st sending them all the uh, you know screenshots of like the really cool comments that you guys send and um, yeah, it's just it's awesome, guys. Like you just keep sending those comments. I I love them. I honestly do, and uh, I feel like I'm getting to know so many of you guys. Uh, and in fact, I think I'm gonna end up doing like a live here one of these days, which then we could talk like more one-on-one -on -one kind of i mean i'll be talking y'all be t you know writing messages but still i think it'll still be really fun let me know down in the comments if you guys would like a live um broadcast one of these days and then um yeah maybe we'll line something like that up parked right there we're at this place called mount hood park and it's a beautiful little park and it's right here on what they call clear creek i don't know how this is a creek it looks like a river but uh i don't know what <laughs> determines what anyways i've got a fishing pole here tackle bag i'm gonna maybe try to catch some bass we'll see um got a perfect spot just right here mason seems pretty content and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can catch. You know, <laughs> I don't know how this isn't why Winslow is popular. I wouldn't come to Winslow for the corner. I would come to Winslow for this park. It's beautiful. Buddy, I feel like you're gonna fall in. I'm actually not real sure what I wanna try to fish with. I talked to a fisherman that just rode by on a boat and uh he said he hasn't had any luck this morning and he's trying corn i don't have any kind of um, bait like that i think i'm just going to try a wacky worm just since it's already on the pole see if we have any luck with that it's probably low 70s right now today and a breeze just can't ask for a better day well it would be it would be cool if i caught a fish that would be a better day but <laughs> i guess with this wacky worm what you do it kind of semi floats so i throw it out and then you kind of just pull up on it like this and it makes that worm kind of um flop around and then it starts sinking slowly and you just pull it up let it float back down and hope that you catch fish hopefully it entices a bass nothing yet though I'm gonna try a Ned rig which is basically a weighted hook and then I'll put these little worms on it they have little rattles in them and then i just kind of let it sink to the bottom and drag it along the bottom slowly it's supposed to kind of look like a feeder fish i'll show you the weight the worm floats and then the weight sits at the bottom and you drag it along and it just looks like a little fish feeding on the bottom let's see if this works
this is kind of a go-to if I'm not catching anything. I don't even know where that went. The wind caught it. So I used to live in Missouri and I did a lot of fishing like uh, on the Mississippi River. And I could catch, it didn't matter if I put corn or a hot dog. There's one time I even caught a fish with just an empty hook. I mean like the fish out there just want to be caught. Then I come out here to Arizona and I can't seem to catch hardly anything at all. Um, I would say the first maybe 10 years I even lived here, I never could even catch one single fish. I've just only recently been able to catch some, but um, still not not too many to, to write home about. So, uh, you know, I, whatever. I, I have a lot of people asking me why I don't do catching cooks, and that's why. It's because it would just be cooking something else other than fish is all it would be. So if there's any pro fishermen out there that want to teach somebody, maybe on a video, let me know. Hit me up in the comments below, especially if you're a, a fishing guide. Uh, we put your business all over the whole video and advertise for you uh, if you want to teach me how to fish in Arizona because I, I just can't seem to catch anything. Are you ready to get back on the road? Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise, I didn't catch a fish, but uh, uh, it is what it is. And you know what? I still had a blast hanging out here by the water. This is a beautiful park. Um, definitely worth coming to Winslow for this park. Uh, I don't know how this isn't the main attraction. It's, it's beautiful here. Uh, and you, and especially if you have a kayak, I would love to come back here with a kayak. I don't have a kayak, but um, maybe one day in the future. Who knows? Anyways. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. Hope you had you good. Trip up on my words. Anyways, I appreciate you guys hanging out this weekend. I had a blast. I hope you guys did. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Talk to you then. Thanks. Bye.